This is how to install and set up the password protected categories WordPress plugin from Bantu Media. This plugin lets you password protect any type of content uh, that has categories within WordPress. I'll just give you a few examples. You can password protect post categories, so that's your blog posts. If you have done any custom coding to create page categories, you can password protect them. If you're using an e-commerce plugin, such as Easy Digital Downloads or maybe WooCommerce, then you can password protect those categories. You can password protect portfolio categories. Um, you may have custom post types for downloads, documents, something like that. So whatever type of hierarchical taxonomy or category you have within your WordPress site, you could use this plugin to protect them. So once you've bought the plugin, you need to download the files and get your license key, either from the confirmation page or your order confirmation email. You then go to plugins, add new in the WordPress admin for your website and upload the plugin. Choose the file, find the zip file that you just downloaded, open and click install now. And then you just wait for the files to upload, it shouldn't take long. Once it's uploaded, you click activate plugin. And the final step you need to follow to make the plugin work on your website is to activate it using your license key. So go to settings, pass, uh, protected categories, the settings, protected categories, and that will take you to the plugin settings page. So you input your license key and click save changes. And then it will say license key successfully activated. There are then several settings that you can use to configure how your protected categories will work. You've got password expiry, which is how long the category will stay unlocked before somebody has to re-enter the password. So if you want your users to enter the password and then have to log in the next day, then you'd enter one, for example. Uh, so that can be any whole number of days. You can choose whether to show your password protected categories and protected uh, content such as posts in the public areas of your site. So if you tick this box, then your protected content will show in places like widgets, like you might have a recent post widget if you're protecting blog posts or something like that, navigation menus and the WordPress search results. So um, tick the box if you want your protected content to appear there. If you do that, then when people will click on it, they will have to enter a password to actually view that protected category page or post within the category, but it will appear in the public part of your site. Or if you untick the box, then it will be completely hidden from public view so that only people um, with the actual link or that know about it and have the password will be able to access it. So going on down the settings page, there's a few really easy to use options that let you choose the text that appears on the password login form. So um, you can type whatever you want. Um, And, that, and you can change the button label and that kind of thing. So it's just a few options to change how the password entry form appears. And then you click Save Changes. Next, I'm going to show you how to protect a blog category. So I'm going to go to Posts, Categories. And you can do this for any type of categories within WordPress. So this is an example within Posts, but it's exactly the same for portfolios, downloads, products. Um, custom posts, whatever. Uh, so I'm going to create a password protected category. So I'm going to call that hidden blog. Um, so let's call that whatever we want. Now the key thing that is added by this plugin is this visibility section which you can see here. It has two types of protection. Password protected will, well, literally password protects the category page and all the posts within that category. So that if somebody tries to view them, then they will have to enter whatever password you enter here. So, and you can add multiple passwords if you want. So you can have as many passwords as you want. Some people like to have a password for each of their um, users or something like that. So you can use the password protection in any way you want. And um, there's another option, which is private. Now, private categories and their contents work a little bit differently. It's basically the same as private posts or pages within WordPress, which you don't need a plugin for. But this adds the privacy option to categories. 
And the way private uh, content works is that it only appears to logged in users um, of your WordPress website who have the right privileges or role. So that links with users in the user section of WordPress. And uh, you can use a plugin such as user role editor or just customize your user roles um, yourself if you want to decide which roles will be able to view private content. So the private integrates with users and yeah, user accounts. Password protected is a standalone option. People do not need to be logged into your website in order to access the password protected content. So I'm gonna choose password protected for now because that's the most common option that people use with this plugin. And as you can see, it's created my category with password protected in the visibility column. I'm now going to go to my posts and I'm going to password protect a couple of posts by putting them within that category. So let's just choose a few random posts and I'm gonna put them within the hidden blog category. I'm literally using quick edit here. So you hover over the post and click quick edit. You can also open up the post properly and tick the category box if that's what you prefer. So either way, when I go to one of these, it's going to prompt me for the category. So I'm gonna just click view on one of my posts here. As you can see, it's asking me for the password. So even though I didn't password protect that individual post, I put it within the password protected category so that that has now um, protected the post automatically. So I'll just show you what happens if I try to go to the category page directly. I'll just go to the category page. It's asking for the password. So let's enter the password, password one, two, three, click login. And we're in, we can see the content that I just put within that category. So it's as simple as that. We've learned how to install the plugin, activate it, configure the settings and password protect content within WordPress. Thanks for watching.